Hey, how's it going? Time for another daily video. And I was going to start this new series today. Uh, more of a in line with what I think is important and prioritizing. This goes out of, out of control very soon though because there's always something else. There's always something extra that you want to bring up. So it's, it's never going to be a linear thing. But... I wanted to start that because it gave me an idea of the direction I wanted to go. But instead, for today at least, I'm going to talk about what's on my mind, which is batching your work. And basically that just means doing things in groups. For instance, you send a daily email, but you might not have a specific amount of time where you can draw, draw up a single email every day. So. If you're like most people, especially when you're starting out, you may still have a job or something else you do that takes a good portion of your day. So in those cases, it's likely that it's more difficult for you to plan out a specific time. But on the weekends, that might be a little bit easier. So if you think of what you've got to do, you write your seven emails for the week and you do an entire batch of them at once. And there's there are advantages to this. Number one, you get on a roll. And once you're on a roll, you can crank out 7, 10, 15 emails and put them in your autoresponder, you're golden. Same thing with videos only I don't I don't know of a a program. I'm sure there's one out there that can automatically upload your videos if you set them to go in at a certain point. I know you can do that with blog posts and so on. But that's the idea. And another advantage of batching your work like that is you can roll themes for a week, say. Where you'll you'll say, okay, this week I'm gonna talk about buffing out your email, uh, how you how you make better system for your email. And and it might be getting opt-ins in one day and conversions on another and how to tell a story in another, whatever. And you can do the same thing for your videos or any other content you're putting out. For instance, let's say you, you write articles and you only post an article once a week because they're longer, they take more work and they're not as easy to crank out. But if you take a couple hours on the weekend, you, you've got a month's worth of articles. Same thing, you get in a roll you're in the mode to write, you've got that time, and you can get it knocked out. Okay, those are the good things about batching. On the other hand, I am a big fan of doing something every day because that's what keeps you consistent. It's much more difficult to stay consistent at a once a week than it is every day. Now, if you're doing something every day and then at a certain time of the week, you do a ba batches of stuff, then you kind of hit it both. Then you're in good shape because you're used to doing it every day. And it, it doesn't, you don't have to take a day off. A lot of people do this with, with their exercise, going to the gym and stuff. I don't get it. I think if you're gonna exercise, you do it every day. And that's just what works out best for me. I think if you, if you skip one day, that's like a gap. Now you've created a gap and you've got more resistance when you're going into the next day. But every day, you're on a roll and you just keep doing it. So that's what I got for today. Use the batching technique to make sure that you have enough content on hand to remain consistent. And yet, do not neglect doing something every day to move your business forward, no matter how small. Even if it's the last minute, just before midnight, like last night, I shot my video after 11.30. So if it, even if it's the last minute, you can crank out that little piece, set it out, and you're done, and you haven't missed your day. And your record's still good. <laughs> and that is what keeps you motivated and keeps you going. That's what I got for today. And hope you're having a great day wherever you are. I'm out.